Good morning guys, welcome to today's vlog. So it's Tuesday, it's 8.51 in the morning and can you guys guess where I am? I'll wait. Yes, I'm at the coffee shop. <laughs> I haven't been since before Christmas, so it's been a while. I miss it, we're gonna go hang out. I have some work to do that I'm gonna get done and then a friend from my sorority is coming to hang out and visit for a little bit, so that'll be fun. But yeah, it's gonna be a good day. I'm excited to take you guys along on my day with me. I hope you guys enjoy the vlog and I will see you guys in there. Hi guys, I'm back from the coffee shop. It's like one o'clock I think. It was super productive, I had a great time, and now I literally just wanna take a nap. <laughs> I'm so tired, but I have some stuff I wanna get done, and of course I'm vlogging for you guys, so I need to like give you guys the good content and stuff, so we have a couple hours. Let me show you guys my outfit of the day. It's literally almost exactly the same as yesterday, but it's like 12 degrees outside today, so it's just really cold, and. And the sweatshirt turtleneck combo is just really nice. I'm probably gonna end up changing honestly, but this is what I'm wearing right now. So turtleneck is from American Eagle. I bought my sweatshirt off of someone from my sorority, so I don't know where it's actually from, but it just says South Haven, Michigan on it. And of course we're wearing the Abercrombie jeans because what's new? <laughs> this giant hole in my jeans, like it's supposed to be there, but it keeps ripping and getting bigger and bigger and bigger. I just ordered a new pair yesterday because they are having a really big sale and that pair doesn't have any holes in them. So my order has already shipped and everything, so that's cool. But yeah, these are just like really cool to wear in the winter too. Definitely not a smart idea. <laughs> and then I just have socks on, but I was wearing my Air Force ones. And then as for jewelry, I'm just wearing the classic gold hoops, gold ring. Okay, so like I said, Oops. Like I said, today's Tuesday. It's actually the first week of classes, so I have another new class tonight, and I really wanted to get that video up today, but I vlogged so much yesterday. It's gonna be a really long vlog, and I had class late last night, so I wasn't able to finish that, but I'm gonna work on that video today. But anyways, what was I saying? Oh, I was trying to decide if I wanted to do like a first week of class video instead of a first day of class video, but I wanted to vlog a lot for you guys this week so I decided to split them up into different videos so if you guys missed my first day of class video definitely go watch that and I think it's corporate something at NPR something so that'll be an interesting one I haven't had that professor before so we'll see how that goes um I do need to go there a little early though because I don't know where the class is I've never had a class downtown before but yeah that's pretty much everything that's going on today I don't have anything like internship wise that I have to get done like I don't have any meetings or anything so we have a couple hours to get some stuff done I think I'm honestly going to change into sweats <laughs> because I am just like not in the mood to wear jeans anymore so I'm gonna throw on a different outfit and we'll get started on something don't know what yet but we'll be productive of course <laughs> here's the new outfit nice little sweatsuit very comfy so I just went and washed my hands in the sink in the kitchen and it just like the water sounded really weird and i was like what the heck so i turned it off my sink is totally leaking into the cabinet under it <laughs> i don't know if you can even see like on camera but if i move this stuff there's water there, there's water there. I don't even know where it's coming from, but you can see, I don't know, maybe you can't, but there's like water on the, they're not like pipes, but on the things back there. And I don't know if it's really, I don't think it's related to the leaky faucet that I have, because I do have a leaky faucet. And I've been meaning to put a work order in for that for a while, which, Probably should have done that a while ago, but I noticed it right before I left for Christmas. So I was like, I'll just deal with it when I get back. And it was just, let me show you. Well, now I don't want to like turn on the water, but I'll just like where it's totally off, but it's leaking from up here. And it really like wasn't that big of a deal. It was just kind of annoying because the noise. So I just never put in a work order for it because I was just putting it off like I do with everything else. Okay, I just made the work order. Maybe they'll come today. I don't know if I should like empty out the cabinet under my sink right now. I probably should. I'll do that just in case it comes today. Okay. 
Okay, so the sink is all cleared out. That's cool. Oh, I'm like so tired, but it's sunny outside. So I feel like I'm not allowed to be not productive. <laughs> so right now we're going to decorate more of my apartment. So I've been trying to decide what I wanted to do with the wall above my TV. I didn't want to just put like random pictures there because I feel like there's pictures and stuff all over my apartment. I wanted something different and I follow this girl on TikTok and she makes cakes. She has a bakery and all that. Her name's Mia and she has a space like a cake studio or whatever and she has this cute like letter board sort of thing in like the lobby area and I'll put the inspo pic right here and she had the letters listed on her Amazon storefront and then my dad made the wooden pieces for me so i finally got the letters delivered from amazon yesterday and it's just like a letter board it's just like plastic letters and there's literally a bajillion of them <laughs> so i thought this would be perfect to put above my tv let me show you guys i thought it would be perfect right here so i think we're gonna work on that right now i have been dying to do this forever and i just finally ordered the stuff from amazon that i needed so i will finally have something above my tv and i'm so excited <laughs> i think putting up the wooden things might be a little difficult by myself especially because i want them to be level and like even but we're gonna figure it out we'll do it together and hopefully it works <laughs> okay so these are the little ledges that my dad made and i had them stored in my pantry up here and i totally underestimated how long they were because i forgot how long they were and i was trying to like take them out behind all of this stuff and a box totally fell and hit me in the head i don't know if you guys can see right there it's fine i'm not bleeding there's like a bump though <laughs> Okay, so I'm starting to get a little hungry and I wanted to share my new favorite snack with you guys. And of course, thank the sponsor of today's video, Built. Built sent me all of these amazing protein bars. They're called Built Bars. And I am absolutely obsessed with these. There are so many flavors to choose from. Here's what they look like. Built Bars are known for their amazing taste and texture. And the best part about them is that they are a guilt-free pleasure with a high protein gluten-free and low-calorie nutrition profile they have 18 flavors to choose from and they're always coming out with new limited edition flavors they have fun flavors like mint brownie double chocolate peanut butter brownie raspberry and so so many more okay today I'm feeling something super indulgent so we're gonna go for double chocolate I haven't tried this flavor yet so I'm gonna do a little taste test for you guys Oh my god. You guys, this seriously tastes like I'm eating a candy bar. I absolutely love Built Bars because I'm honestly not the best about making super well-balanced meals. Protein is definitely something that I kind of lack in my diet, so it's great to have delicious alternative on hand. Built gave me a promo code for you guys. I also have a link down below, so I'll include all that information in the description box down below for you guys. Huge shout out and thank you to Built for sponsoring today's video. I think I'm only about half an inch off, which I can totally live with. <laughs> that all by myself 
here's how it turned out i think it looks really cute i think it's perfect for the wall i am so shocked at how like even they all look i feel like they look pretty decently spaced out the one on the bottom is a little bit closer to the middle one than the top is but i don't think it's really that big of a difference and i think it looks so cute so i'm gonna find a quote to put on the wall and then put it all up there and everything i'm so proud of this okay i've been sitting here on pinterest for like 25 minutes and i can't figure out what to put up there to save my life i don't know what quote i should do i was looking at some different like taylor swift lyrics maybe because i I'm a huge Swifty, so maybe something like that, but I don't know. I can't decide. I want to put something up there, obviously, today, but I don't know what. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know down below. I might just put something up there for now. Maybe something about, like, New Year's, because, like, she has a song, New Year's Day. Kind of fun, kind of goes with the whole January thing. <laughs> too many letters <laughs> so that's unfortunate <laughs> ended up with i don't love it i'm definitely gonna change it but i just wanted to put something up there so you guys can kind of see like the vibe <laughs> that i was going for i definitely like when there's like three lines of words instead of just the two but i will figure something out if you have suggestions please let me know but i'm so proud it turned out exactly how i wanted it i'm really really happy about that i hope you guys like it guys there's like letters literally everywhere so i'm gonna keep these in a very safe place so i don't lose any but i will link these on my amazon storefront they were a little bit pricey i'm not gonna lie i mean pricey for like plastic letters but you seriously get so many of them i can't remember but i think there's 12 of every letter i should organize these in a different way but we're gonna leave that problem for later okay that's from yesterday that's gross <laughs> so it's 3 14 right now i did not make a to-do list today which i'm kind of regretting because i don't know what to do right now <laughs> this is why i have to make to-do lists because i literally just blank on everything i have to get done but let me go grab my binder because i do need to figure out what class i have today i just know i have class at six and i know it's downtown and that's it <laughs> i don't know anything else so i should probably skim the syllabus because i didn't have time to do that yesterday and i will also tell you guys all about what class i have and all that fun stuff so okay we're gonna put the glasses back on because i always feel so like studious and i feel like such a college gal with my glasses on i think they're cute so we're gonna wear them hopefully the glare isn't too bad but i can see the glare all right i think that's better i don't know i can't tell but here's my binder today like i said i have class at six downtown it's writing corporate communications i've never had this professor before i also have never heard of them i don't know if it's a her or a him i did not buy the textbook for this yet sounds like there will be a lot okay there will be 10 corporate communications writing assignments Okay, so I'm gonna start on some internship work. I was supposed to do this earlier and I didn't, so I need to play catch up a little bit. But also, since everyone else is in Pacific Standard Time, it's like noon for them. <laughs> the day is only like half over for them, so it doesn't like affect 
them as much if I don't have my stuff done until like later in the day you know you know what I mean so for my internship what I'm gonna work on right now I created an entire uh, contact calendar for one of our clients on Loomly so I wrote out all the copy for the posts I planned out like what was going to get posted on each day I had to send over some graphic requests for a few of the posts to the graphic design girls and I looked this morning and they did upload all the graphics that I needed so that was nice so now I just have to take everything from Loomly and then plug it into the Facebook page and schedule everything which that takes a while just because you keep going back and forth and stuff but it's a lot easier since I have everything planned out in advance for the month Okay, so I got a package from Amazon. Woo! Okay, so I decided to buy more pillow covers for the pillows on my couch because I don't like how they look. So hopefully I like these. So cute. I got the pink color. Oh, these are really cute. Look at these. Okay, I'm gonna put them on the pillows right now. rough today sorry about that i haven't showered yet i have spent like all morning editing the video that you guys just watched so hopefully you guys liked it um as per usual i forgot to film an outro for this video so i mean like what's new am i right <laughs> so yeah i realized that and then i wanted coffee so i decided to film a little cute little coffee montage for you guys so hope you guys enjoyed that i haven't tried it yet it feels like super boiling hot so might wait a minute but i just made a typical vanilla latte i need to get a coaster for this or else my dad is gonna kill me because <laughs> he made me this table and he said always use a coaster so let me go grab a coaster okay we're going with one of my new central perk coasters there we go see coaster so I wanted to tell you guys about the class that I had because I kind of just like stopped vlogging at one point during the day and I don't vlog in class because I feel like that's just like really weird but it was really nice there were only like eight 
eight or ten people in the class. It was a really small class, but the professor is so, so sweet. She's the sweetest lady ever. So yeah, she didn't keep us super long. She kept us until like eight, which isn't that bad. And honestly, all these six to nines like don't feel like super long to me, which is good. We have another group project that goes for like the entire semester in that class as well. So she assigned our groups and my group is actually super, super nice. And they seem like they're gonna be a great group to work with for the semester. So again, lucked out on that. But yeah, there's just gonna be like a lot of writing in that class, which of course I'm not looking forward to. So yeah, I got done around eight and then Doug and I ended up going and getting tacos after class because he also had a six to nine downtown and he was done before me. So we ended up going to this taco place and I totally just forgot to film anything, but the tacos were amazing and I really want to go back and get one of their margaritas because they just looked so good. But yeah, that was pretty much it. I edited for the rest of the night and that was the end of the day. But yeah, I just wanted to update you guys on my class because I talked about it a lot in the video and I didn't want to leave you guys hanging. Oh, and then also yesterday, maintenance people ended up coming and they fixed my sink, so that was nice. But yeah, that's pretty much the update from a few days ago when I filmed this vlog But I just wanted to come on here and thank you guys so so much for watching I also want to remind you to go check out Built again All the links and everything will be in the description box down below for them So you can use my link to go check out their website and again huge shout out and thank you to Built for sponsoring today's video If you're still watching to this point comment down below Hello, vanilla latte. <laughs> but yeah, that's gonna be it. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you guys very soon. Bye.